Water, simple, essential, and omnipresent, is a gift of creation that sustains all life. Its significance transcends its physical necessity, weaving through cultures, histories, and spiritual traditions as a profound symbol of renewal, purity, and divine provision. For Christians, water holds a deeply spiritual resonance, flowing through the pages of the Bible as a metaphor for God's grace, redemption, and the transformative power of faith. From the waters of creation in Genesis to the river of life in Revelation, water is not just a resource but a sacred reminder of God's promises and His sustaining presence in our lives. What does it mean for Christians to live with an awareness of water's spiritual significance? It means embracing its symbolism as a call to purify our hearts, renew our faith, and reflect the living water of Christ in a world thirsty for hope. The Bible begins with water. Genesis chapter 1, 2 declares, The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Before light, land, or life, there was water, chaotic yet filled with potential. God's first act of creation was to bring order to the waters, separating them into sky, sea, and rivers, creating an environment where life could thrive. Water here symbolizes the raw potential of creation, a canvas upon which God paints the beauty of his world. This foundational role reminds us that water is more than a physical necessity, it is a divine gift that sustains and nurtures life. Every drop of water we drink is a testament to God's provision, a reminder of the intricate balance he designed to support his creation. Water is a universal agent of cleansing, and in the Bible, it frequently symbolizes spiritual purification. In the Old Testament, the act of washing with water was integral to the rituals of the tabernacle and temple. Leviticus chapter 16, 4 describes the high priest washing himself with water before entering the Holy of Holies, signifying the need for purity in approaching God. This symbolism reaches its fulfillment in the New Testament with the baptism of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 3, 16, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. Jesus, though sinless, chose to be baptized to identify with humanity and to inaugurate his ministry of redemption. For Christians, baptism is the ultimate expression of water's cleansing power. It is a public declaration of faith. A symbolic act of dying to sin and rising to new life in Christ. As Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, 4, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Baptism reminds us that the grace of God washes away our sins, making us new creations in him. Jesus often used water as a metaphor for spiritual renewal. In his conversation with the Samaritan woman at the well in John chapter 4, he declared, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. This, living water, is a picture of the Holy Spirit, who satisfies the deepest thirst of our souls. Just as our bodies cannot survive without water, our spirits cannot thrive without the presence of God. The living water Jesus offers is not temporary or fleeting. It is eternal, flowing within us to renew, refresh, and sustain. Imagine starting your day not just with a glass of water but with an intentional act that transforms this simple, everyday element into a powerful reminder of God's grace, a source of inner peace, and a symbol of spiritual renewal. Much like the act of placing salt in shoes, you can incorporate water into your daily routine in a way that grounds you in faith and prepares you for the challenges ahead. Here's a practice rooted in both faith and mindfulness. The morning water blessing. This simple act combines scripture, prayer, and a physical gesture to bring clarity, focus, and God's presence into your day. It is a way to keep the symbolism of water close to you, not just as a physical necessity but as a spiritual anchor. Step 1, the cup of living water. Begin your day with a small cup of water. Before drinking it, pause for a moment and hold the cup in your hands. Reflect on John chapter 4, 14, where Jesus said, Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. 
As you take a sip, pray silently or aloud. Lord, may this water remind me of your living presence within me. Cleanse my thoughts, renew my spirit, and guide my steps today. Let your grace flow through me as I go into the world. Step 2. The water drop on the hands. After drinking, take a few drops of water and place them on your palms. Rub your hands together gently, feeling the coolness and moisture. This is a symbolic act of purification, inspired by Psalm chapter 24, 4. The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, they will receive blessing from the Lord. As you rub the water into your skin, reflect on the work of your hands for the day ahead. Pray, Lord, bless the work of my hands today. May everything I touch be done with love, care, and purpose, reflecting your glory. Step 3. The pocket or vessel of blessing. For those who wish to carry this ritual further, consider filling a small vial, flask, or even a locket with water each morning. Keep it in your pocket, purse, or bag as a tangible reminder of God's presence throughout the day. Before leaving your home, hold the vessel and pray. Lord, as I carry this water with me, let it remind me that you are my source of life and strength. Help me to be a channel of your love and grace to others. This small, intentional act can transform ordinary moments, reaching into your bag or touching your pocket, into opportunities to pause. Breathe, and reconnect with God amid the busyness of life. The morning water blessing is more than just a simple ritual, it is a profound act that connects us to the rich symbolism of water in the Bible and Christian tradition. Water has always been a powerful metaphor in scripture, reminding us of God's transformative work in our lives. Each element of this practice invites us to reflect on essential aspects of our faith. First, water symbolizes purity, cleansing not only our bodies but also serving as a reminder of how God cleanses our hearts and minds. Just as water washes away dirt, God's grace washes away our sins, renewing our spirits and calling us to pursue holiness in thought, word, and deed. Each drop becomes a tangible representation of this spiritual cleansing, urging us to strive for purity in our daily lives. Second, water signifies renewal, a fresh start that aligns with the promise of Lamentations chapter 3, 22 to 23, his mercies are new every morning. Just as the act of drinking water refreshes our bodies, beginning the day with a prayerful interaction with water renews our spirit. Reminding us of God's unfailing love and his invitation to embrace each day with hope and purpose. Lastly, carrying water throughout the day becomes a symbol of blessing, a quiet yet powerful reminder of God's presence. Much like the Israelites carried the Ark of the Covenant as a physical sign of God's faithfulness, a small vial or vessel of water can serve as a portable emblem of divine grace. Each time we touch it or remember it, we are reminded of the blessings we carry as children of God. Equipped to reflect His light in the world, Together, these layers of symbolism transform the morning water blessing into a practice that not only grounds us in faith but also propels us to live with intentionality, purity, and gratitude. As you incorporate the morning water blessing into your life, remember that each drop of water is a gift from God, a sign of His sustaining love. Whether you sip from a cup, touch a few drops to your hands, or carry water with you, let it remind you of your identity as a child of God called to bring his grace into the world. Reflect on Isaiah chapter 55, 10-11. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. Just as water nourishes the earth, God's word and presence nourish our spirits, equipping us to walk boldly in faith. Water appears again in the story of the Exodus, where it becomes a symbol of deliverance. When Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, God parted the Red Sea, creating a path of escape from slavery, Exodus chapter 14, 21 to 22. This miraculous event demonstrates God's power to save his people and his faithfulness to his promises. The Red Sea crossing is often compared to baptism, as Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 2, they were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Just as the Israelites passed through the waters into freedom, we pass through the waters of baptism into the freedom of life in Christ. 
It is a reminder that God leads us through the challenges of life, parting the waters of difficulty and guiding us safely to the other side. Water also serves as a call to service and compassion. In Matthew chapter 10, 42, Jesus says, And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. This simple act of kindness, a cup of water, becomes a profound expression of love and obedience to Christ. It reminds us that the small, seemingly insignificant acts of care we offer to others can have eternal significance. Each time we serve, we reflect the generosity of God, who provides for our every need. The Bible concludes with a vision of water in Revelation chapter 22, 1-2, Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. This river is the culmination of water's symbolism throughout Scripture. It represents the eternal life and healing that flow from God's throne, a promise that one day, all will be made new. The morning water blessing is not merely a routine, it is a spiritual practice that transforms an ordinary act into an extraordinary encounter with God. Each morning, as you sip, touch, or carry water, you are reminded of His living presence flowing within you. Let this ritual be your anchor, guiding you through each day with clarity, hope, and grace. And as you carry water, may you also carry His light, sharing the life-giving hope of Christ with a world in need.